Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss the most interesting topic that we are commonly seeing in our daily life. That is acute respiratory infection. So let's start. First of all, we will know what is acute respiratory infection. Acute respiratory infection is the sudden onset of infection at any part of the respiratory system from nose to lung. It is an infection that may disturb the normal breathing process. Infections of the respiratory tract are the most common cause of death in young children and old persons. Now we will know which death causes the acute respiratory infection. The microbial agents are the main cause of acute respiratory infection. These may be viruses like adenovirus, coronavirus, influenza virus, etc. Bacterial agents like streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilus influenza, etc. Or it may be fungi, parasites, or allergens. Now we will know the types of acute respiratory infection. We generally classify it into two types. First, upper respiratory infection and second, lower respiratory infection. When we consider as an upper respiratory infection, it is generally considered to be an upper respiratory infection when the infection is present above the vocal cord or cricoid cartilage. It includes the nose, sinuses, pharynx, and larynx. Common infections of upper respiratory tract are common cold, influenza, pharyngitis, tonsillitis, sinusitis, and otitis media. And when we consider as a lower respiratory infection, it is generally considered to be a lower respiratory infection when the infection is present below the vocal cord or picoid cartilage. It includes the bronchial tubes, bronchioles, and the lungs. The lower respiratory tract infection like bronchitis, bronchiolitis, pneumonia, etc. are commonly seen. Now we will see who is at risk for acute respiratory infection. As the immune system of children and older adults are generally low, so they are more prone to be infected. Other risk factors like cigarette smoking, air pollution, overcrowding, poor nutrition, low birth weight, etc. are also significant. Now we will discuss the important signs and symptoms of acute respiratory infection. Incidence of acute respiratory infection is more common among males than females. Features of acute respiratory infection are number one fever, generally body temperature over 100 degree Fahrenheit. Second, cough. Third, anorexia, that is, loss of interest in food. Fourth, sleepy or drowsy feeling. 
five, difficult and irregular breathing. Six, severe malnutrition. Number seven, hypoxia. That is, body is deprived of adequate oxygen supply at the tissue level. Number eight, other symptoms like nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, body ache, fatigue, weakness, etc. may be seen. Now we will see how to diagnose easily in a case of acute respiratory infection. There are some physical examination which helps for early diagnosis. These are number one, count the number of breaths that is respiratory rate for a full one minute. Normal infant respiratory rate is 40 to 60 per minute and normal adult respiratory rate is 12 to 20 per minute. If more than that, then it will be significant. Number two, look at lower chest wall. When the child breathes in, if the chest wall goes in, that is, chest in drawing occurs, then it will suggest that they are require more effort to breathe in. Number three, look for wheeze, which is a soft whistling noise that shows the sign of difficulty in breathing. It is caused by the narrowing of the air passage in the lungs. Number four, fluid discoloration of skin, inner side of leaf, tongue signify that there is deficiency of oxygen in tissue level. Number five, check for severe malnutrition because it is a high risk factor for an acute respiratory infection. There are also some laboratory findings which helps to diagnose the infection. These are like X-ray test, CT scan, lung function test, swab test, etc. Now we will see the complications of acute respiratory infection. Complications of acute respiratory infection are very serious, mainly in case of child and old age. Complications of acute respiratory infection are number one, respiratory failure, number two, congestive heart failure, number three, respiratory arrest, etc. Now we will know some easy way to prevent and control the infection. First of all, health improvement is the only way to prevent the infection more easily. Some important health improvement measures are number one, promotion of exclusive breastfeeding up to the first six months of life that will increase the child immunity. Number two, give sufficient nutrition for growing children. Number three, improvement in the living condition that is maintain proper sanitation. Number four, avoid smoking. Number five, to relieve the cough, use of some homemade preparation like tea, ginger, lime juice, etc. that are really help. We can also take some specific protection that is vaccination and must follow the primary immunization routine for children and infants. 
that will reduce the chance of infection if there are any danger signs such as fast breathing or difficulty in breathing then immediately consult to your nearest doctor as early as possible for more information you can also visit our blog site www.medtosimple.xyz thank you